Now that we understand the basic working principles of the Anubis, let's take a look at how to add and configure new monitors. Okay, so now that we have our dedicated Ravenna network set up, let's look at creating some new monitors. If you hold the home button, you can go into settings, and from there you can click on monitors. So now, we'll create a new monitor, and speaker A shows up, but let's click on it and configure it for our needs. So, we're creating another speaker set on the happy, not within the Anubis. So what we can do is say, well, we want to use the V key button, which is a virtual key, which I'll show you in just a second. And it's going to be a stereo speaker pair. And you can see here, it says there's no patching. So this is pretty good for a start. Let's go back to the home screen and let's click button C. So we can say that we want to use our speaker set. Let's go over to Animan, and what we're going to want to do is we're going to steal a couple of outputs from our current system. So we're going to delete 1 and 2, which is where my speakers are set up. And instead of connecting directly from the core audio output, we're going to connect speaker A, 1 and 2, to the same channels that the speakers are connected to on the happy. Now all we have to do is hit apply multicast or unicast, depending on your situation. And they should turn purple in just a second. And now you can recall that speaker configuration and change its volume, or you can use the main one and two or three and four. So here's where it starts to get really interesting. Since we've set up a dedicated Ravenna network and we have the Happy on the network, we can connect surround sound speakers directly to the Happy and then use the Anubis as a surround monitor controller with some advanced functionality. Let's set that up. We'll hold the home button and we'll go into settings. You can scroll down to monitors and then we'll click on create new monitor. Now speaker B appears. So we'll click on speaker B and we'll change this to say surround and we'll just take that off. Scroll all the way up to the top where there's nothing. So this is just our surround speaker set. We're going to use V key 2. Now our type, we're going to want to configure it as Dolby 5.1 or at least I do. So we'll say Dolby 5.1, and then we can look, and it says that we don't have any patching. We can go back to the home screen and click on our surround set, and you can see it's ready. So if we pop over to Animan, much like we did before, we can steal some channels. So let's take the first six channels and delete the connections from our outputs of core audio to our converters. And we'll come down here and we'll go to our surround speakers, and we'll use those. So we can hit apply multicast and it turns purple when it's locked. And then we can hold the home button on the Anubis, go back into settings, look at our monitors, check out surround. And now we see all of our patching has populated and we can see our channel order is left, right, center, LFE, LS, RS, which is the Dolby 5.1 standard. Now also, if we want that same talkback behavior, we can set our sources dim like before, say negative 20 decibels and click away. And our talk will be talk one will be the trigger. So now we have surround monitoring that dims when we hit the talkback. And we can use the V key to recall it. Here's our surround volume up and down. Or we can use our speaker set A, speaker set B, C, or D. Now another thing to notice here is that if you look where it says mono, since we have a surround speaker set, we can have some more options available to us. So let's say we're starting from 5.1, but let's say that we want to just hear the stereo. We can click that button and it'll do a down mix for us. This can be very useful depending on your application. Also remember we still have our solo and solo X, so we can solo our LFE, or we can mute it and hear what our mix sounds like on a system without a sub.